Hello, this is Joseph, and today we're going to be going over how to have PHP Storm open when you click on an exception. We can have a file like schedulecontroller.php line 24, and if I click on that right now, it doesn't do anything. Uh, in some computers, it may mean like that, but it will not open PHP Storm, and I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go to this project. I'll have this link in the description down below. But it's called Lorval IDE Code Navigation, it's specifically for the JetBrains IDE Code Navigation using the REST API. I tried to find the REST API documentation for this, but apparently I, I'm just a terrible searcher for whatever it's worth. But uh, there's a port that's set up. And so this, this is important to know as, as I'll walk you through it. But all you need to do at this point is clone or download a zip. Go to those files, copy them over as expected. Just copy whatever paths that you have here uh, into your, your stuff. And for me, I commented out the line real quick so I can show you. So here I'm going to just undo that, save it, jump back over to my Chrome. And what this does is this theme is an older theme coming back from a previous version of Laravel. So this is why it doesn't look the same. Um, but it adds the go to line. So rather than clicking that link, you can add just go to line. It reopens up PHP storm, goes to the file, goes to the line. And that's basically it. If you're not having this work and you're doing local development, the port has may, may have changed. So you can go to PHP storm preferences. Then you want to go to development, execution, deployment, debugger. And this is the port number you want to look at. Okay, so once you have that port number, you're going to jump over to error.blade, and you're just going to switch out that port to whatever is there. I'm sure you can throw this in some, some type of environmental or configuration file if you want to, but that's what that port's pointing to. And here's the API that I was talking about. Now, let's say you're doing remote development. Well, let's see how that's going to work. Click on go to line. Yeah, something happens. You may not have seen it, but because I'm running this under HTTPS, it's going to block it. Because it's just going to HTTP, uh, it doesn't allow mixed content. So you can actually just say uh, load unsafe scripts. This may be different than whatever browser you're using, but I'm using Chrome and that's what it does. I just click it and then I'll go ahead and try to open this one more time. And PHP Storm opens, but it doesn't go anywhere. So it's going to say, are you sure you want to open this up? You want to trust it? And I'm just going to say, yes. And that's it. It doesn't go to the file. It doesn't go to the line. And there's a reason for that. The remote path it's trying to go to is not on my computer. I don't have home slash chores slash whatever else is set up. So there's a little quick quirk to do in that. And it's going to the same exact place. You're going to want to go to error.blade.php. And we're going to add some custom lines here. So I'm going to have path, uh, local path. And this is just going to, you can put this environmental as well if you want, but um, just for the sake of speed of this little tutorial session, I'm going to go and copy my path, throw it in here, and then chop it down to my root Laravel path without the slash, and then say var base path equals uh, base path and then I'm just going to override the not override but make a, a new path file path and I'm going to say local path plus file dot splits sure there's a better way to do this but basically we're just going to rip out the base path of the server and replace it with the local path of my computer and we're going to take the second instance of that. And then we're going to go here and replace this. Now, I don't like you just do file in there. So I'm going to change this to encode URL component. I'm not sure why it's not. Encode URI. Component. I may be spelling this wrong. We'll find out shortly. And I'm going to upload it to my server. Never do this ever, uh, if you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to upload it. I'm not going to even check for anything. And then I can go back, refresh, and click on go to line. And there you have it. 
Now, you may be getting repeated pop-ups of saying, hey, are uh, you sure you want to trust this? Hey, you sure you want to trust this? And if you're getting annoyed by that, what you can try and do, or what you can do, is go to PHP Store and Preferences again. Or if you're on Windows, it would be like a File, Project Settings, or something like that. And same place, uh, build execution deployment debugger, and you're going to want to accept external connections and uh, unsigned requests. It's not safe to do, so if you still want that safety measure, uh, I would recommend to leave them alone. But if you know you're the only person uh, that's going to be doing this type of stuff, then just leave it as is. And that's it. Um, until then, like, subscribe, and click that little notification bell. And I'll try to bring up more of these little tips and tricks. See ya.